Playstra 9 in just 10 minutes right here on Bay News 9. They are considered the pinnacle of any amusement park. Roller coasters at the IAPA Attractions Expo this week. Theme park planners are salivating over the latest concepts. Bay News 9's Scott Feist has a front row seat to what's next. Forwards, backwards, floating, and upside down, made of wood. And that's a double barrel roll at the end. At the annual International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions Expo. The latest in innovation takes an old concept and flips it head over heels. An inverted uh, outside stall is the uh, big element right off the lift. Rocky Mountain Construction in Idaho builds wooden coasters that go for a loop. Here's the secret. On top of a wooden base, Rocky Mountain will actually add this metal topper track. And this is what allows the wooden roller coaster to safely go upside down. The track combined with a restraint system using a new lap bar and seat horn keep riders in. It's going to be a fun, aggressive ride, but it's going to be smooth. The man of steel at IAPA is Jim Shea with Premier Rides. The only thing that moves on the ride is the train. Uses magnetic launch technology, uses magnetic braking systems. The steel roller coaster builder from Maryland uses the latest technology to propel riders in new ways, like on 2013's Full Throttle in Los Angeles. Not only will have multiple launches, backward launches, forward launches, actually goes through the mountain of Magic Mountain. Not one to sit down. Even new rides with small footprints can pack a big thrill while standing up. And is it true that you use your kids as test pilots? But yeah, sometimes they join me and we go on the ride together in, the, in Italy, in my factory. Stefano Moser is the third generation of his family to work in the amusement industry. Moser's new freestyle ride simulates snowboarding. All right, so we're starting to feel the dynamics going, uh, <laughs> going up and down. This is the first time that freestyle has run in the United States, and something tells me it's not the last. Yeah, exactly. It's like a half pipe. In Orlando, I'm Scott Fox, Bay News 9. Now, although IAPA Attractions Expo looks fun, it's not open to the public. And you can join us Thursday when Scott Fife sits down with Walt Disney's right-hand man who created Epcot.